<laughs> How long time did it take? How long did what take? It take to create that whole look. Um, my morning routine, I just kind of get up, have a shower, and I just, I don't know, it's, it's pretty um, no fun. I'm just trying to look at, at <laughs> <laughs> We can't, we don't want to look at you. Honestly. My beauty is bl that blinding. It's, it's so maybe it's my eerie. What is this? I guess my first thoughts were, what the f***? I mean, that opening scene was just like a full-blown assault of the senses. You know, I uh, I wanted to um, bond the characters together with some traumatic experience, and that allowed us to, uh, to um, tilt the... <laughs> <laughs> Being way too serious with this interview. Uh, let's, no. Let's, uh... No. I'm, a, I'm actually a serious journalist. So... <laughs> uh, but what I love about this film, it is an entertaining story. It's a fantastic, well-shot film. The music, the score, everything is so perfect. And I get to do a villain I'm probably not ever going to be able to do again. Sure. All right. Oh, God. Wait, it's okay. I'll help you. Oh, can you? Uh, Sorry, okay. I did, do I no, have something there? No, it looks great. It I looks did. great. Sorry, didn't mean to. I would eat it, but I just had breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Without giving too much away, the, the end of the film kind of sets it up for a sequel. And I just wanted to let you know I, I'm available if you need. Yeah, just uh, don't call me. Call the casting director. Uh, oh. It's probably a better person to. Uh... Okay. <laughs> if you could give me, give me the number. <laughs> and, and if you don't mind, if we get a little selfie for the camera. No. Here.